guys welcome back I hope that you're all doing well today's video is a tutorial on this eyeshadow look that I have going on it is also a kind of like a cat eye and a, a double winged liner look this is definitely something you can wear when you're going out to a club to a party or whatever it is you can change up the colors that I used like you can use cranberry colors pinks purples whatever it is I'm just gonna be um, showing you how I did this liner and of course you can still wear this look without the double winged liner this is absolutely something that I would wear um, either to work or to a party or a dinner I think it's very you know sexy so I definitely did love this look that I created so if you guys would like to see how I got this double winged cat eye look then just keep on watching I already have my foundation and eyebrows done just because I feel like you guys have seen me do that like a hundred times first I'm gonna prime my eyelids with this NYX HD concealer and it's in a really light shade so I'm just gonna use that as my eyeshadow base next I will be applying some scotch tape on my eyes just so we can make this eye look very sharp and very clean so I really like to use tape for this eyeshadow look I will be using my Kat Von D shade and light palette I think this is a perfect palette to make like a smoky cat eye look so this is the one I'm gonna be using and with a really fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with this beige color first and set that concealer that we applied. And this is also just going to help the rest of the colors blend really easily. For my transition shade, I do want to apply a very really warm colored eyeshadow so I'm gonna grab this one right here it's really like um, salmon -y colored and I'm gonna apply that all over my crease and I'm going all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner so making kind of like a halo effect To darken up my crease just a little bit, I'm going directly into my crease with this gray shade. I'm just grabbing a little bit and this is a really small tapered brush. So again, I'm just going to apply it like directly into my crease and I'm just going about halfway. I'm not going all the way in. I'm also kind of doing like a wing shape with this shadow. So just following my crease all the way to that tape and just like flicking it out. After I apply a shadow, I'm just going to grab this Real Techniques blending brush and just buff it out really um, softly. I don't want to go in too harsh, just so um, it can kind of get like a gradient effect since we are going in with a lot of dark colors. Going back with this really dense crease brush, I'm going to um, grab this one. It's really dark and gray, but still has a little bit brown in it. And what I'm going to do with this color is I'm going to kind of make like a V-shape right here. And just apply this really dark color in that area. I'm just making sure that I keep it on that outer corner and not bring it onto my lid too much or into my crease.
Again, just buffing it out. I absolutely love Kat Von D eyeshadows. They blend out so nicely. They're super pigmented and they're like just super buttery. I love them. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to be using this really white color right here that's next to the black one. And I'm just going to use it as my brow bone highlight. So for my eyelid color, I'm going to apply this one right here. It's just like a neutral beige um cream colored shadow and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid making sure not to cover any of the black that we have on the outer corner for my eyeliner I'm going to be using my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in the color blackest black I'm going to be using my Tarte Eyeliner in Gold Brush. And I kind of want to create a really big wing just because we are doing a double winged liner look. And I just want it to be, you know, dramatic. Also, this tape technique is really great for when you apply your eyeliner. Because you can just go along that line and it's like super easy. Before I apply my lashes, I'm going to be creating a very uh, sharp inner corner with this black um, Kat Von D liner. And I'm just going to make it really like cat eye look. So I'm just going along the inner corner. Before falsies, first I'm going to apply a coat of mascara and this is the Josie Moran Argan Black Mascara. For lashes, I'm using these Kiss Lashes in the number 11. Alright, for the lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and get this black shadow. Just grab the tiniest amount. And then I'm going to, um, then I'm just going to smudge it on my lower lash line. Then going back with my Real Techniques one and just blending it out. My camera wasn't filming, but um, all I did was really defined my inner corner and then applied this the Kat Von D liner in my waterline. Now for the actual double winged liner, I will be using my Kat Von D one just because it's a lot more controlling and it's easier to work with. So it's really going to um, be easier for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the outer corner of my bottom lash line and just really kind of making a line from there to here. It's really easy. I don't know how to explain it, but hopefully you guys get to see what I'm talking about. So you can see what I did there. I just created a double wing. Now to finish off the entire look, I'm just going to be applying the same Josie Maron um, mascara on my lower lashes.
So that's it for this tutorial, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed it. Also, my social media links will be down below like always. So you can go ahead and follow me on any of those. Leave me a comment on what kind of video you would like to see next. I am planning to do like a Thanksgiving a glam look or kind of like a holiday inspired makeup look. So if you are interested in something like that, then just go ahead and leave it down below and I will get to it. So I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!